Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home and I'm back with another huge 4K review to do for you. We're gonna be taking a look at the 10 Commandments on 4K disc from Paramount. This releases on March 30th, 2021. So I'm just a couple days ahead of release here with this review, but I'll let you guys know about the visuals here, some of the audio, any upgrades you can expect and overall whether or not I think this is worth purchasing and upgrading over the, some of the existing Blu-rays and many different variations of Blu-ray that are already out there for this title. So a couple things to note here about this movie, I'm gonna talk briefly about it and some of the things on this disc before we get into the technical specs. Um, this is a 4K release with Dolby Vision HDR and this movie was actually fully restored from its 35 millimeter print back in 2009 at 6K. So it's actually scanned a little bit higher than 4K. They could get some really high resolution scans out of this original print. And you know now it's being downscaled from 6K to 4K, but it means we have a very, very high quality source. So while it was technically remastered for 4K this year for this release, it's not really the restoration process uh, being new. The restoration on this is about 10 years old and there's footage of it online that I'll show here throughout the review because it helps give you a good idea of how this release actually looks. But the other interesting thing is that this also is the roadshow version. So it has the overture and the introduction and things like that. Um, if you know the Hateful Eight and what they kind of did with that roadshow version, it has some of the similar types of things that Tarantino did with that movie. You do get that full version here. So it's not just the movie, it's the entire 10 Commandments experience, which I thought was nice. Now this is presented on just one 4K disc, which I, I was unsure of whether it needed to be stretched to two or not. We've seen some other movies like Lawrence of Arabia that are very long like this and high quality actually stretched to two discs. Now this was not stretched to two discs. It's a single 4K, but it is still stretched over two Blu-ray discs that are included with this release. So the 6K scan that this has is very good and it made for an excellent, excellent Blu-ray release, but this 4K resolution really takes it to the next level. The detail on this is incredible. This stands right up there with what we wanted from the Ten Commandments. We expected this to be on the same level as 2001 A Space Odyssey, as uh, Lawrence of Arabia. So 10 Commandments is right up there. This is easily one of the probably best five four to K discs that's been put out there. Uh, it would be very hard to choose between this or Lawrence of Arabia or 2001. They're all at that like 10 out of 10 absolute perfection score. The resolution and the detail on this is incredible. And it all goes back to Paramount's uh, ability as, as a restoration. Um, their restoration department is so good. And what they did even you know 10 years ago still holds up today because of the high resolution. They scanned it at back then and they were ahead of the game. And that makes for an excellent 4K disc. Now there is also a noticeable upgrade with the Dolby Vision and the HDR. Definitely makes the picture feel a little more realistic. Definitely makes colors pop a whole lot more, especially things like the Egyptians um, and their kind of extravagant costumes and fabrics. Things like that really stand out, but that HDR really adds a whole lot of color. Skin tones are, I think, vastly improved. They're much better than they were before. They're a little more realistic and less kind of orangey, uh, almost like fake tan. They're much more realistic in everything. Just the total picture comes across um, much nicer, more well balanced. You can tell that this is probably how a 35 millimeter print, if it was pristine, should actually look. And it's sometimes hard to get that on Blu-ray just with the limited color space you have to work with. And HDR really, really expands there and makes this an excellent, excellent 4K viewing experience. So I was going to take some screenshots of this and the reason that I've used, uh, I took some screenshots instead from Paramount Pictures in their restoration process. This is online in a few places. I showed you some before and afters of the restoration, but the after pictures are a much better representation of how this actually looks in your TV versus what I could get for pictures and screenshots off of my screen. So that's why I use those instead, but just know that they are a very, very accurate representation of this picture quality, and it is an excellent, excellent 4K disc and one that you definitely should add to your collection. Now, one thing I was looking for in here was maybe an Atmos track. Um, we do stick with just the DTS HD 5.1 for the audio, which was also available on the Blu-ray. Now, that being said, it's a very solid track. The score of this movie is obviously one of the highlights. There aren't a ton of effects, but 
dialogue is very clear and that score is roaring throughout your surround system so while it's not an upgraded experience there it's still such a good experience that was previously available that i can't really knock it it's a very very solid audio track and honestly most of these movies from the 50s 60s you know even in the 70s and 80s they weren't really mixed a lot of times for you know nobody expected dolby atmos at home experiences in the 1950s so to mix it at a 5.1 is probably your safest and best bet without taking away too much from what the original you know director and sound editing and sound mixing teams really intended so i don't mind this at all would have been nice to see what they could have done with atmos it may have been bad though um, but this 5.1 is very faithful to the source and i really enjoyed it so no upgrade there but still very solid on the 4k disc now the packaging for this is a little basic compared to what's out there on blu-ray it's a simple slip cover you've got your um, artwork on the inside is the same open this up it does come with a digital copy you've got your 4k disc and then we've got a uh, flap here with your two blu-ray discs which are also included the 4k should redeem the 4k digital copy should redeem in 4k you guys know i don't use them so i don't check but i've heard that most paramount pictures titles do um, but there isn't a whole lot here and the only special feature on the 4k disc is a commentary by Catherine orison she was the author of written in stone um, making Cecil uh, B. DeMille's epic, The Ten Commandments. So she has a commentary track on this, but that was also available on the Blu-ray. So you can watch the 4K with commentary, but there's no other behind the scenes on this. And even on the Blu-ray disc, there's nothing else. There's just the commentary and uh, a newsreel and some theatrical trailers on these discs. So it's a little bit lacking in that department. I would have liked to see maybe something on the restoration process, which is really impressive, and maybe even some improved packaging. Um, you know, I actually have the uh, big collector's edition Blu-ray box set. There was also a Digibook out there, as well as some standard releases. They did some really cool things with the Blu-ray, um, but this, you know, the 4K, is what it is it's just a slip cover would have been nice to maybe see a few extras uh, built in there but I can't really complain given how good the picture is on this it's a top 5 4k disc of all time to date and that's really what's most important here so overall I would highly 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 recommend that you guys pick this up especially because it's been selling for only $20 on pre-orders so I'll leave a link down in the description where you can pre-order it it's only been $19.99 which is an absolute steal for a 4k disc that's this good this is going to be reference quality stuff for your home theater the one thing you do have to realize is that it is going to be grainy though it's shot on film it has a grain structure it's very good it's very filmic it feels like you're watching a 35 millimeter or even a blown up 70 millimeter print because it does fill your entire screen but there are moments of grain so I always mention this just because there are people out there who just refuse to believe that these movies shot on film can be great 4k discs they want digitally shot stuff if that's what you're looking for it's not what you're gonna get but this is as good as any 35 millimeter film that's been brought to 4k disc so far it is right up there like I said Lawrence of Arabia 2001 The Shining Apocalypse Now Full Metal Jacket all these movies I'm thinking of, even going back further, It's a Wonderful Life, The Wizard of Oz, things in that time period, this stands up with all of those and it's excellent, excellent, excellent and faithful. No DNR, no removal of grain. That's what we like to see and that's what we get on this disc, which is why I recommend it. Even without upgraded special features, packaging or audio, the disc is worth it for the 4K picture quality alone. So I'll leave a link in the description where you guys can pick this up. That'll help support my channel. Also make sure you subscribe and like this video so more people see it. The more people that see these videos, the larger we can grow the physical media community and keep that going and keep that growing here in 2021 and into the future so we can bring more collectors in and of course, that helps all of us. Make sure you follow me on social media as well. Instagram and TikTok is where you can find me. Great places to reach out on both those platforms. I have a lot of fun with both of them outside of YouTube. And then always make sure you subscribe and have your notifications on. That really helps support my channel in a very passive way, but it also helps support you. You get to know when content's posted right away because I don't really have a schedule. I kind of do things as I have time. And so it's always best to have your notifications on for this channel because you never know when I'm going to post a video, unfortunately. That's the way life is. So, uh, yeah, check out all the links in the description for ways you can support. But I really appreciate just all of you watching. I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. Stay healthy out there. We're getting to the end of COVID, so stay positive. Thumbs up. Um, but, yeah, have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you soon.